Okay, it is time. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just going to introduce you to someone who's very sacred and awesome, has an awesome laugh, is a beacon of energy. But well, I'm going to, no further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Maddie. You've, you've uh, seen her all week, but she has a cultural teaching, a Metis cultural teaching that she wants to share with you. I'm going to pass it over to her. All right. Thank you so much, Ryan. I'm going to get into my sacred energy. So <laughs> before I share, I just wanted to say thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to have to share a bit. It's it's not Métis specific. I think it's everybody specific. It's nature specific. It's natural law specific. It's the teachings that are around the world. So I have a video that I created at the help of my lovely co MC Ryan inspired me. And I learned how to create this video last night. So here is the video and I really hope you enjoy it and I hope it works. <laughs> hey, ha. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna press play now. Yeah. Creator has given us all the answers. We just forgot how to listen. Look at the beauty of our forest. The beauty of the relationships. They teach us so much. But yet, we forgot how to listen to them. We forgot how to see them. We forgot that they are our teachers. We always look outside of ourselves for the answers. We go seeking to fill what's missing. Sit with the trees and listen to them, they will show you, they will show you that in stillness and groundedness, they are strong, and when still, they become so present, they will show you no matter how different they are, that they still work together to feed life into one another. As I walk in the forest, it looks like we're having technical difficulties. Um, hope we can get that figured out in the next little bit here. Feel the healing. Yeah, I was wondering if that was on my end. Not sure what's happening. The teachings of balance. Um, Every time I come to the forest, I do my best to do no harm. I do my best to elevate myself. It says some people can see it in here and some can't. Today, I'm following the path the Creator has given us. I offer gratitude.
Hmm. I think it's hit and miss for a lot of people. It's gonna have to pass it over to Maddie. Unfortunately, the video we're having technical problems, but I know I know Maddie can uh can uh do with do without the video, right? Yeah. Thank you. Well, the saying goes, everything happens for a reason, and maybe my energy is too much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you know, it's it's kind of the story of my life. Um, I'm always like something electrical happens, and I've been taught by the elders that sometimes it, it's because of I don't want to sound so like quirky or anything, but they talk about the the energy that you carry sometimes can impact the things around you. And when I'm flying in a plane, I try to stay calm. <laughs> and so thank you. That was my first time creating a video. And I want to thank my co-host Ryan for <clears throat> walking me through that. It took me about four and a half hours. <clears throat> To create that so hopefully we can share that before the end of the day at some point um so thank you for allowing me to share that i was talking about the trees i was talking about the answers are all around us the elders taught me and my dad who is known as i call him my greatest teacher he has taught me about the answers being right in front of us in that video i was talking about we always go looking and we look to other people and we ask them for the answers for what we need. But the greatest journey that we can ever take is the journey within ourselves, the journey to the center, the journey to the core. And this is what that message was about. The trees tell us, if you look around us, the trees tell us, they sit together, they're different and they hold each other. When they fall, some of them rest on each other until they make that last drop. Underneath, they have a whole system that is connected and some take from each other, some give to each other, just like the relationships that we have. And I promise the trees, every time I go into the forest, I wanna elevate myself. I'm going to elevate myself by offering that tobacco and giving thanks before I put my hand on them. I don't want to just go in there because how does it feel for you when someone comes up to you and just, you know, like on the sky train or the train, you know, just touches you. Sometimes you're jolted and it's the same for the trees. The trees carry that energy. And without the trees, we couldn't be here. So the teaching for me is to take care of them. So my partner went and got me some willow. And my dad talked to me about the willow since I was a little kid. And I talked to him the other day and he was talking about, how do you wanna walk in the world? And I thought about it. I said, I wanna walk with a good heart and a good mind. He said, that's what happens around you. Nature's teaching you that. If you wanna know how to do that, look outside. Go sit with them, get the energy from them. And that's the one thing that we don't take care of in this world. Not all of us, but is the trees. Because without them, we wouldn't be here. They're the lungs. They're the ones who breathe and clean the air for us. And with the willow, the willow teaches about resiliency. The willow teaches about being able to bend and create those sweat lodges. It teaches about walking in that good way, standing tall and still in that good way. And if you look at this willow, it has a fork. And then it has a fork again and a fork again. So this is us on our path. We start here. We start walking on the journey. And we're always going to come to a fork in the road. And we're always going to choose this way or this way. Let's say we choose the red road or the black road. It doesn't matter. If you take this black road, it doesn't mean that you stay on that black road forever. Because if you look here, 
there's more forks in the road. So because you took this black road, you still come into another choice because there's only so long you can walk on this before another path comes up, before another choice comes up in our lives. Sometimes you might fall here and that falling is telling you to make another choice. And if you still want to go onto this path, it doesn't mean you can't come back to this path. So this is the lesson. This is the teachings that I've been given. So when I go outside and I see the willow, I don't just see a branch. I don't just see, oh, look, there's a willow. I look at everything outside in nature. It teaches us. Just from this, just from the way it's shaped, just from these forks, it's teaching us that we have a decision. And just like now, we have a decision of what we want to do for Mother Earth, how we want to take care of her. We've been on this path of not taking care of her, but that doesn't mean we can't change our minds like we are at this Indigenous Clean Energy Conference to make that choice to go here to now take care of her. And the willows, and if you look at trees, they have this same shape and pattern. They also teach us. They also are teaching us. So I wanted to give a challenge today. I have about a minute. My challenge to you, to everybody, go outside. When you're looking for an answer to something, go outside and sit with the trees. Go outside, sit with the willows. Go outside, sit with the grass. Even the grass is going to give you the answer. So my challenge for you is to go within. Find that groundedness in yourself. Center yourself. No matter how hard it is, the power of vulnerability teaches us about resiliency. Just like these willows and these trees who are constantly vulnerable. All my relations. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Very profound lessons in there. That's, I definitely needed to hear that. Um, looking for things outside of you when they're, always, when they're in front of you or just being in nature and finding the answers that way and just quieting your mind. We're so busy with all these things around us, with social media and stuff like that. And sometimes we just got to sit there and find the answers within. And the, the analogies that you used were, were so beautiful and helped me like figure out kind of that there are more than one path and something that some of my elders would tell me is in making decisions and and like your follow your values follow your heart and like that tree kind of think of that tree as like your family tree you have all these ancestors holding you up and like that tree when you make decisions the roots go deep and ground yourself like the like the tree and you'll never go wrong when you follow your heart, follow your values that your ancestors have provided you for thousands of years, time memorial, and you'll always stay true to yourself and you always feel right when you make those decisions. And with that, I say, hi, hi, Lim Limt. Thank you, Madeline, that was beautiful. And uh, we're gonna be jumping into our next session here. So if you guys wanna log out and uh, join us in our next session, see you there. <laughs>